everyone, NLD here, and welcome back to my Dragon Ball Advanced Adventure Let's Play. And I think the volume isn't too loud. I realized when I'm editing, I realized, wait, why did I say this was too loud? It's not. But at the same time, I still worry when I'm recording. Well, let's see. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's just continue from where we were. We finished Peel Off the City Street, and now we're going to start... The 22nd Tenkaichi Budokai. And we're gonna fight Shiao soon. Alright. So, how you guys doing? I'm doing fine. We got a couple subscribers since, more subscribers since the last one, which is cool. It's always fun. And, I'm actually, I have all kinds of future videos planned, and some are already in preparations. Like, some are already, like, in making. But I only want to uh, actually upload them and finish them when I have a bit more popularity and experience. Both. Like, um, that's it. Other than that, like, I'm rocking the Clash of Clans. I'm going to do... I know. I think you all know that I returned with the Boom Beach Upgrades series. I'm going to turn down one. Because I'm having trouble hearing myself speak. And the Boom Beach Upgrades series. Yeah, um, so I'm back with that. But not as a replacement to the Tamax series. As a bonus, so my progress isn't the slowest ever <laughs> to be in Boom Beach. Because it's such a long game. You have one builder, like the builder base, yet there are so much more headquarter levels. And so much, like, well, you know, main, like, main building levels. Because there's Town Hall, Builder Hall, Headquarters. So there's so much more than Clash of Clans and, and the, like, the home village and the builder base. Plus one builder and much more upgrades overall. So, kind of an issue, but it's okay. That's that. That's actually why I'm returning the upgrade series, which is perfect. It, it turns out really good. Okay, so, we're gonna do this. And we took down Chiaotzu already. He's really easy. I have a really simple strategy when I'm doing these, and I I just really Krillin. Why would you do that? But right, so I'm um, I take I here yeah the, I do that guard that here that when the blue line is above me, I kick them to the air and instead of kicking them back down, I shoot a Kamehameha. It works with the level two Kamehameha. It's not as good because they actually don't get knocked out. I'll show you. All right, darn. Um, I need to charge. Wait, wait, I want to waste. Oh, right, perfect. I'm gonna charge a level two commandment wave, and I'll show you what happens. Not in a way that it. I, oh, I think it'll actually kill him. But I'll, I'll show you in the next one. The, never mind. You, you'll see in the the next one. Now we're against Tanchanan, which is actually one of the most difficult fights in the game, because what's the reason? Okay, I forgot. Wait, but I have to be back in a moment. I have a quick thing to bring. Hi, I'm back. And what I was saying, the Tenjunan is one of the most difficult characters to fight. Like, difficult battles. No, it's probably the most... No, Piccolo Daimo. Other than Piccolo Daimo, which is, you know, the main boss... It's the main boss battle of the game. So, other than that, Tenjunan is definitely the hardest one-on-one -on -one ba story battle. Like, technically, you can do in the one-on-one -on -one or survival. Like, what I'm saying, in the story, he's the most difficult... Especially in hard mode, and also, a big reason, first of all, he has max key bar, so you can shoot a max level dodon pa. Oh, dodon. Like in the Japanese, dodon, dodon pa. In the American dub, for some reason, they changed it to dodon ray, or dodon wave. And I don't remember, I always thought it was ray, but then I looked at all kinds of names, and I saw it's dodon wave. But I think it's both, actually. I think it just depends. Um, anyway. Well, I was saying tension on, right. But a big reason is because he has the four bars, it means he has the Kikoho. For all you English dub lovers. No, seriously. Um, the Kikoho is the tri-beam, for anyone who doesn't know. Oh, wait, I wanted to show you here. I'm going to shoot that, now I'm going to show you the level 2 command bear wave. Look, now I shoot it on him. It hurts, but he's still up. He doesn't get knocked down. You see, the level 2 command bear, is it, it isn't powerful enough to knock him down. Alright, so what I was saying, Kiko, the tri-beam. 
I, like, I used to call it Tribeam when I was watching the English dub, but when I moved to the Japanese, I really, like, overall, Wolfing Fist, Roga Fufuken. Uh, like, I prefer, I prefer the Japanese names. Um, anyway, Yata, definitely, Yata. Uh, I'm pretty sure that means I won or I succeeded or something like that. I did it, I did it, I think. Anyway, we beat it, we got Shen's hat, which means we won the level. We can use, and we unlocked all the characters you unlock in Goku's story mode for one to one. Spoiler alert, on Krillin Storm Mode, you can actually unlock Piccolo Daimao. And later, in like, after you do that, you can unlock Cyborg Tao Pai Pai. Like, Cyborg Tao. I always want to do the original, yet I want to explain for people who don't understand. That was a waste. That was stupid. I don't know why I did that. Okay, Tambourine. So, the trick of him... Wait, I'm going to pause. He's a very hard battle, okay? The trick to him, when you see him flying out, he's going to do it four times. You need to jump three times. Just don't even move. Just jump whenever you're here. And then he will do a lot of these. When he disappears, go usually go down and move to the right. Now, when he does this, you see? One, two, three. Then the fourth one, just be ready to just attack him. When he shoots the beam, both, even on regular mode, which it's very, but especially on hard mode, it does a lot of damage when it hits really good. Here, you see? Two of these almost took me a full bar. It's very it's powerful. Try to dodge it. Uh, yes. Right. But dude, you're not doing good. He's not doing good today. Oh, I wasted it. Darn it. Okay. Come on. Oh, oh I'm out of my game. Okay, I, I kind of lost focus. But I actually think I'm good enough to win. I just need to concentrate. No, no, oh, did you see how much damage that did? Told you, it does a lot. No. Oh, oh yeah, I'm probably going to lose this. Yeah, I knew I should have left. I wanted to leave so I wouldn't waste. Ah, tell me what I can do. If you don't want to waste a life, you can quit game. And then, not if you're in a boss battle. If you're, like, in the end of the peel-off castle, just, you have to do the whole level right. But in a level where it's just that fight, for example, you can just quit. You don't have to waste your lives. And now, I'm going to be much more clever, and you'll see. All right. You always want him to do that charge thing. Well, if you're not good at dodging it, then you don't, because it does a lot of damage. He can hit you a few times. But if you know what you're doing, you always want him to do that, because that gives you an opportunity to do a free, like an easy combo attack. Here, he's just, he's just coming to me. Again. Really. Tambourine, have you not learned a thing? Ah, uh, even though there is something inaccurate here, like, like a few actually inaccuracies in the game, Considering, because you know, um, right, t uh, Goku loses to both Piccolo Daimao, you'll see in a moment. Pi like, in the show, he, he loses to Piccolo Daimao, King Piccolo, and to t Tao Pai Pai, Mercenary Tao, before he beats them. He loses to them in a fight, actually. And here in the game, they did that. They did that he loses, and then we fight him again. You'll see him with Piccolo when he, they do that, and you'll, you already saw with Tao. Okay, but there are other characters. Tambourine in the show he doesn't beat him for the fir in the first time, he actually loses, and then the second time he demolishes him. So why didn't they do two fights with Tambourine? Huh? Obviously there's reasoning where how much they can do, but in the same time then why do some? It's just a bummer. And that's actually not just it. Um, one of the things, all those things, is that in the in the show, well that the game glitched. In the show, Tension on in the 22nd 10K Chibidoka that we just did, Tension on wins. And in the 21st, in the first tournament that we did a few episodes ago, Jackie Chun wins. Like Roshi. Goku doesn't win any of these. And obviously, they want the player to win, so that's okay. 
they can let us win, but then like make a little like cutscene where he loses, where Goku loses to make him like the show more. Because Goku does not win those fights. No, he does not. Okay, I think I'll. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Come on. No. Oh, that was stupid. I could have won. Okay, fast forward, and I'm gonna do it this time. So, I finally did it. After countless tries, I decided to cut, by the way. You probably noticed. Oh, yeah, he knocks me down. That's not the point. Then, we meet Yajirobe, and Piccolo comes for the first time, and we lose. But I'm actually, as a challenge, I'm going to try to see how much combos I'm able to do to him. Okay, no. He did it. Okay. Usually, I can do a few. Anyway, yeah, I couldn't make countless tries. I'm incredibly tired, and I decided not to fast forward at all. I just wanted to cut. I wanted to be able to do as much. So we lost to Piccolo, and now we go to Karin Tower, and he tells us to find the super Kami water, super divine, whatever. It's, it's stupid. Uh, anyway, uh, the ultra divine water. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, I'm just gonna take this down, like, this is a level with countless dorps. Now, if you want a level where you explore, where, if you want a video where I explore every door where it goes, this is not the video for you. I'm gonna go strictly, I know it by heart. Yes, I'm that addicted. No, I'm kidding. But I know the pathing by heart, like, what door is, goes where, so, I'm not gonna do, I'm just gonna go through the doors that are right. So, you should trace that down if you want. If you ever find out you're playing that game and playing this game and wanting just to get to the end. So, yeah. That's that. Wait, let's take him down. Nice. You go up here. Alright, now. Jump. Here. You go to this side. I'm gonna kill you, you wolf. Ooh, okay. Jump, 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 kill. Okay, now you should probably immediately run and break one. And now, let's jump, go here, hamburger, and if you're curious where this do goes, same place. You can do this all day. You can do this all day. Okay, now we're gonna fight Shadow Yamcha. Yes, that is his name. And I'm gonna kick his butt. I'm gonna show you all how to kick a Yamcha's butt. Even if it's even though it's hard mode, it's still by the way, if he does hit you with the wolfing fist, you're probably done. It takes down like a whole bar, life bar, if not more. So you should be careful when you're fighting Yamcha. But overall it's not very difficult to hit. You just have to be careful. Also in hard mode, in regular mode he doesn't do this. In hard mode he can actually change his direction in the rogue in the wolfing fist. Like when you jump, he, if he didn't do it here, you said he just changed. So that's incredibly dangerous. You should probably be in the air in the exact timing, like I do. Like you have to have the perfect timing. Here, you see? Did you see how much he took? How much life he took from you? That's so much. That's, I would have came out with almost full life if it wasn't for him. Just saying. 
really powerful. Oh, too bad I didn't kick it back. I like kicking back the rockets. Do a rocket? Yeah, I'm sure you're doing a rocket. He's not gonna do a rocket. Yep. Okay. We need to be careful. Like, we did basically take him down. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Now run, 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 run. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Okay, no, no, no. No, run. Run. Okay, no. No. Kill. No. And you are officially dead. Nice. Okay, let's go here. Do that. Do that. And let's do this ambush too. Oh, come on. Leave me alone. You beast. You foul beast. Okay, I'm dead. I'm gonna do this and then that's it. I'm not gonna finish the level. We'll have to see how we do next time. But not yet. Okay. I think this has been, I think this was the shortest, technically, how long I've actually been recording, you know, considering all the times I lost a tambourine when you guys weren't watching. Um, it was a long video, but other than, but from considering what you guys watched, this one was one of the shorter videos, so you know what? Actually, I'm going to do a bit more. First of all, here, you, you technically, the right one is the right one. Like, the right door is actually the right one to go, but if you want to get an, some extra life, go here to the middle one, get a hamburger, go back, and then come here, which is the actual pathway. Now, collect this. This is the max power. Finally, we have the full power Kamehameha. Let's take it down. The way to take those guys down is actually really simple, especially on hard mode, because in hard mode, they're deadly. You know that. Oh, jeez. Okay. No, jump. Take them down with one Kamehameha, and then a couple of these. Or one, I think it's actually can be one level two. Okay, no. Oh, hurt. Alright, hold Oh. Oh, dangerous. Dangerous. Now, level two. No, 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 take one, yes, two apples, take that down, come here, take the hamburger, go through the left, go to the left, take this capsule, by the way, we're almost filled with the capsules, like, in Goku Story Mode, we have, I think, three more capsules, yeah, go here, and we're against Krillin, wow, he already took his down. Can we beat Krillin, Shadow Krillin, and maybe finish Goku's story mode in the next video? Find out next time! I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and comment if you did. Check out the other videos on my channel. See you all again next time. Bye!